Do you smell that? That's the smell of new makeup. Yes, I did find out that there is a Sephora dangerously close to my new house and definitely went and checked it out because I realized I need to refresh my summer makeup a little bit. We're getting ready to go on vacation and I want something that's a little lighter, a little easier, a little like, I just woke up like this. Honestly, it's kind of the perfect time to experiment with a new look and especially something that's lighter and easier. So I picked up three products that were recommended by people on TikTok, I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> it was on TikTok, but they were actual professional makeup artists. So I feel pretty good with what I'm trying. Before we get started, I've already gone ahead and washed my face. I've used all my products that I used before I put on makeup, which I will make sure to link to. This is the Magic Perfecting Base, and all you need is a little bit. Put it on, you know, your areas that have bigger pores, which is usually around your nose and where the makeup tends to run, which for me is my T-zone. This is really going to help mattify those areas and help the makeup stay on. The other trick I learned from TikTok, what you should really do before you put on your makeup is wait 10 minutes after you've done all of your creams and your moisturizers and your serums, wait 10 minutes or so, because otherwise you're just smearing stuff on your face and it's just gonna run off. And like, that seems reasonable enough for me. So I've given it the 10 minutes. So to get started, I am actually not going to use one of the new products. I am going to use my shape tape. So I start off with some shape tape and I kind of pull it down because if you just put it under your eyes, it tends to look a little cakey. All right. So first up is this Tinted Moisturizer by Huda, 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 Beauty, called Glowish. I have been a longtime fan of the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. This has a little more of a dewy finish. It gives you a little more of a glow, but it's also super lightweight, which mama needs for summer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it right on my finger. If you want to, you can use a beauty blender. You can do all of that. I just typically don't for, for a tinted moisturizer. Rub this all in. Oh my. Oh my gosh, it is so lightweight. And of course, this lighting isn't the best, but it really kind of gives, you see there's like a little bit of a highlight already going on. Like it really, it really brightened my skin. And you wanna make sure always bring it down to your neck too, because you don't want one of those like really drastic lines. Oh. Ooh, I'm sorry, I was distracted by my profile. Ooh, I, I recommend that product. Oh, that was awesome. So the next up is the Anastasia Brow Wiz. This is the tinted gel for your eyebrows. It's in medium brown. They also make a clear gel, but I decided that I wanted a little bit of color. So I've actually never used one of these before like at all. So we'll see how it looks, but you just kind of go in and I'm assuming you just make little, just little strokes all the way down just to help define your brows a bit, but not that, you know, like Instagram, perfect drawn on look. So this is definitely something that I'd wanna play around with to get right, but it definitely feels pretty easy to use. But yeah, it just, it does just kind of give you just a little bit of a brow. It just enhances the brow a bit. It's not a super big statement or anything and but it does help not only hold the brows in place, but also give them a little color. Definitely a little goes a long way, but I think it's a nice alternative to penciling in your eyebrows all the way. Like I might use my Anastasia brow if I was really going out and just finish up down here because I'm like a little afraid of this little thinner area. But I think with practice, this would be really easy to use. Plus they come in mini sizes, which I liked because it's less of a commitment, um, especially because this can get expensive. and. This is a nice, a nice price point if you just want to test it out. So it is really cool though. I like it. I definitely feel like I got a brow, but it's not like brow. Finally, blush by Mario. I went in with every intention of getting Milk's blush stick, but actually the Sephora sales lady, shout out whoever you are, you wonderful woman. She recommended this one because it's got a brush. And then on the other end, obviously, is the blush. And blush, is pretty universal, like certain shades. Like this is a, a dusty rose color. It's got, you know, kind of a mauve undertone and it typically work, will work for most people. A good um, trick for finding the right blush is kind of looking at your lip color. What works on your lips will usually work on your cheeks. So a nice place to put this is just right on your cheeks. You just kind of 
build it up, build it up. I promise this is not gonna look crazy at the end. It just looks like a lot right now. So then you just go ahead and you can just blend it all in. And then I'm gonna bring a little down on my cheeks, but see how it like really, even with the brush, it's, it's blending it out, but it's not getting rid of it, which is so nice. And then if you want to, you can just put like a little up here, just drag some of that extra up here, put it on the nose. And heck, like this color is so nice. Like you could probably blend a little bit of it over your cheeks if you just wanted a little tint, but like, look at the difference. It really does make you look younger. I'm usually someone that goes straight for the bronzer, straight for the highlighter, but really with this, you don't need it. I'm actually, I'm gonna add a little highlighter just because I kind of feel like it. If you're like me and you don't have your setting spray, you can just use a nice, nice pressed powder, run that all over your face. It'll also tone, you know, tone some things down, blend it in, but also make it so all that makeup's not gonna move around and you're not gonna sweat it all off. So you look good for the gram. I'm gonna add a little bit of this to my lips just because I wanna give them a little color. And there you go, an easy breezy summer makeup routine that'll uh, maybe trick some kids into thinking you're a total Gen Zer. Although maybe saying totally will give you away. I don't know what the kids are saying. I'm not young, but I do like this look. So all three products, totally approved.